so uh, basically what I am going to talk about for today is probably the most difficult thing that I have ever talked about on this channel and uh, I, I talk a lot about very difficult stuff but this is something that uh, I have really questioned myself the last couple of weeks whether or not I should post this believe me I have been questioning myself for uh, five weeks over this but uh, this is not really related to my illness but uh, still is something that has affected me it is now the 13th of uh, July and uh, yesterday the 12th of July was the funeral of my grandmother she uh, passed away the 5th of June she was 95 when she passed away but uh, it still feels kind of uh, difficult when you lose someone that is close to you and uh, she was the oldest one in uh, my family because uh, my maternal grandmother and grandfather is not alive anymore and uh, my paternal grandfather passed away uh, many years ago so uh, she was the one that was still living and now my parents are the oldest one in my family and uh, as you understand it's been a bit um, emotionally difficult even though I think I have handled it well basically when she died it was uh, expected she died of old age at the age of 95 at the elderly care home that she was living at she lived there for two months and uh, the last six months to a year for her was very very difficult because uh, she was in and out from the hospital and uh, she didn't enjoy that at all she was actually quite healthy until the age of about uh, just below 90 or something like that and she lived by herself in a small house at the countryside in the southern sweden but uh, the last six months was very difficult for her with a lot of uh, hospital visits and illnesses and uh, she actually told us and the family members and friends of her that uh, she didn't want to live anymore she was ready to die and in all difficultness that is something that um, feels a bit as a relief i should say because uh, i mean uh, she was ready for it and to be able to understand when your time has come and to accept it is uh, something um, I don't know how to call it but um, it's something um, beautiful I think she knew she was ready but um, anyway yesterday was uh, emotional difficult day of course because yesterday was the day when we had a funeral for her and uh, I mean it's it's not a fun thing to do to just say goodbye forever to someone but it was an important day but uh, I was just so tired in the evening after the funeral and after the funeral we uh, had uh, a meet up with the closest family members at the uh, her old uh, countryside home that she was still in possession of well, even though she moved into an elderly care center two months ago it's such a beautiful place and I can really understand why she lived there for uh, over 50 years and I mean 
if you live somewhere for 50 years, that place means something to you. And by the way, I'm going to end this vlog with saying that uh, when I am filming this, I am currently in a hotel room in Copenhagen. I started my vacation with, uh, with um, the funeral. I am ready to explore some parts of Europe for a couple of weeks. I don't know how much I will be updating you guys in the next four coming weeks, but uh, I think that you should have a great time and uh, I'm thankful that you have been watching this far. Anyway, I am just super tired now and I think I'm going to go to bed now or pretty early tonight. And uh, thank you for watching. I seriously don't know what to say anymore. It's just been a couple of very emotionally tough days.